Today, I want to discuss the latest updates and reports around this ongoing, ever-evolving Nintendo Switch 2 saga. I'm sure you guys are just ready for an official announcement from Nintendo at this point. I certainly am too. If you've been keeping up with all of the rumor mill leak speculation talk online, and to be fair, very credible names now chiming in on this, VGC, Eurogamer, Bloomberg, now Nikkei is the latest one that we're going to be talking about in this video, all publishing reports on what they're hearing in terms of Nintendo's timeline of plans to launch this console. A couple different insiders out there like Nate the Hate and Brazil mentioning things like the actual planned reveal time frame for this thing. And while it was widely expected to at least launch and be in our hands at some point in late 2024, at one point in time, that has now shifted to early 2025. And with this new report we're going to break down, it's actually answering a bigger question to the reason why Nintendo has chosen to supposedly do this behind the scenes outside of just that software conversation like we've had in prior videos where the outstanding rumor is that they need more time to get their first party games ready and that's definitely a contributing factor but there may now be a secondary reason we may know about now in terms of why Nintendo decided to go this direction and potentially repeat that strategy that they had with Switch 1 where it was a March release at the beginning of a calendar year so we're going to unpack all the new details and get on the same page with what to expect before we do make sure you like subscribe and turn on your bell notification to join Sunburn Nation if you're new here and I want to first briefly talk about who Nikkei is because they're a major Japanese publication very in the know with things as far as what to expect with market share movements and stock investor trading things like that we're all coming at this from a gamer's perspective here when's Nintendo going to launch their new hardware so we can enjoy all of these major first party Nintendo games that we all love to dive into and celebrate together and they are entirely looking at this as when am I going to get my return on investment from Nintendo shares that I am purchasing and what should I expect the valuation of Nintendo to be as we lead into their next console launch and will they successfully navigate another console transition off the heels of a very successful one like they haven't done necessarily the best job of in history and those are the kind of questions that this publication is looking at and they are also one that is widely respected and is kind of in that upper echelon of Bloomberg style reporting where this is not some random person online that says they have inside info this is major Japanese publication that we're talking about so keep that in mind as we're going to quickly hop over to VGC and read through their detailed typed up article together. Switch 2 is targeting March 2025 and was delayed to avoid shortages, new report claims. Nikkei corroborates previous reporting on Nintendo's successor console. That's according to a new report by Japanese news publication Nikkei Paywalled, which claims that the Switch successor's internal delay reported first by VGC and others earlier this month was partly so that Nintendo could avoid potential hardware supply issues. Although Nintendo had planned a launch in late 2020, for Switch 2, according to Nikkei, priority was given to ensure the initial inventory of the successor console and a lineup of software titles at the time of its launch in an attempt to avoid widespread reselling. Nikkei says it expects the next Nintendo console to again be a hybrid portable home device similar to Switch, as reported previously by VGC. The publication also corroborates that the machine will have a larger screen than the original Switch's 6.2-inch display. Nikkei notes that Switch 2 could yet slip beyond March 2025, dependent on manufacturing and how much software is ready for launch. As reported earlier this month, VGC heard multiple sources who said Nintendo told publishers its next console would now launch in Q1 2025. According to sources, third-party game companies were recently briefed on an internal delay in Nintendo's next-gen launch timing from late 2024 to early the following year. Nintendo's share price dropped on the Tokyo Stock Exchange following the report, dipping by as much as 8.8% before settling on an overall loss in value of 5.8%. It's possible the next-gen Nintendo console will now follow a similar timeline to the Switch, which was released in March 2017, but announced the previous year in October 2016. So the biggest piece of new information I think you could take from this report that hasn't really been claimed by anybody else up to this point in time is the conversation around does Nintendo just simply need more time to mass produce this console to ship enough units where you're not going to have a ton of scalping situations out there for the launch of the hardware. And I think that that is going to be something that factors into this decision, but it could very well still be the games are the biggest reason that this holdup is. But if you look at their software lineup, it did kind of 
have me scratching my head because our first direct of the year, like we talked about, was a partner showcase, not a mainline Nintendo direct. And essentially every single Nintendo published game that we know of in 2024 so far outside of Princess Peach's Showtime, which is launching next month, is a port or remaster easily handled by a third party studio or some other developer. And so the question then becomes, what has Nintendo been doing with their entire first party AAA devs this whole time when we've been playing ports and remasters primarily on their console hardware? I mean, you'd think that they would have enough time to have a 3D Mario ready to go, considering that Mario Odyssey launched in late 2017. That is already like, it's probably the largest gap in between 3D Mario games. I haven't looked that up to be exact, but I'm thinking that by time we get the new 3D Mario, it will be the largest gap. So they've had ample time to develop that. Donkey Kong hasn't had a new game in 10 years outside of the Wii U port of Tropical Freeze. So you've had plenty of time to create a Donkey Kong experience. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, literally your best and biggest selling Nintendo Switch game is a port from the Wii U. And there's clearly been ample time to create a new Mario Kart. So it seems to me like Nintendo has had plenty of time to get first party software ready to go. But what's interesting about this stuff stock conversation as far as them wanting to source enough for this console to not be in that PS5 Series X situation during the pandemic where you just couldn't find one anywhere. You're ordering online, but you're fighting against bots, and then you're seeing everybody resell them for double or triple the price. Nintendo actually said in a previous investors meeting, when asked specifically how they would deal with a potential problem like that for their next gen successor, that they would just try to create enough stock to avoid the problem altogether. That was more or less their strategy. They said in addition to partnering with certain retailers around trying to stop people who mass buy things, they're also just going to try to produce so many that they will meet market demand or as close to that as they possibly can when the console is coming out. So there could be some big credence to this report that manufacturing is is just not moving as fast as they need it to. And they know that walking into a holiday 2024 season, there was previous reports that by the end of the fiscal year, they might have something like 10 million units shipped. And it sounds like a lot whenever you're talking about 10 million Switch 2s, but you think about a worldwide launch for a much anticipated console and one hitting the scene in the holiday season. And you have to wonder if just calculations were done and it was simply decided upon that that's not enough hardware for us to launch this thing with especially considering that Nintendo is tackling bigger ventures than ever before with them being more or less a multimedia and experience company as well nowadays as you have things like the Super Nintendo World theme park opening early 2025 in Orlando we already have one here in the US in California and in 2025 we're getting the Donkey Kong expansion could they also be shifting this timeline to align with things like that in addition to maybe some new major Nintendo content as some have speculated online saying maybe we have a new Mario or Donkey Kong movie and or short series around the corner something Netflix exclusive Peacock exclusive who knows maybe Nintendo launches some kind of series for one of their marquee characters and they want to have that ready to go to promote alongside of something like the console launch things like this are on the table and they could be reasons why Nintendo would choose to hold back the console's launch and I do think that with all of the different reports at this point in time while you can never put any stock into anything until Nintendo officially announced it for 100% certain. There is enough different publications reporting this internal delay to March 2025. And to be clear, they are saying March 2025 at the earliest. So even if you have all the hopes in the world that March 2025 is going to get here and we'll have the console in our hands, that could still be shifted back to the middle or even late 2025. I certainly hope that doesn't happen, but that's the reality of the situation that we're in here. And to to be fair, Nintendo is still moving units of the current Switch. So they are not in a position where they have to hop over to their next hardware like we would have normally seen them do by now with a stark sales decline like we've seen them do in the past. Not saying the Switch is selling anywhere near what it used to, but it really isn't the same drop off of a cliff type of thing that we're seeing happen this generation as we have in prior ones. So all of that said, I tend to really buy into these reports at this point. I think it's very hard to refute with how many different publications have come out and corroborated the same story and I'm starting to shift my expectations to March 2025 really being the time that we need to watch and for something like a reveal I am hopeful that if we get the announcement of a April Nintendo Direct which seems like it's not likely if you look at their history but they have done it in the distant past will they come back and do it again well if that rumor ends up true from Mr. Brazil who actually posted
posted originally about these delay rumors and then everybody else went and picked it up corroborating it for themselves well if that april direct happens i then have that much more hope for something like a june time reveal but will it be just another october reveal and that's the first time we get the trailer and then it's going to launch in march of next year i don't know i want to hear from you guys at this point in the video in the comments down below well, how do you think nintendo is going to handle the launch of this console do you think the internal delay reports are accurate do you think there's a chance that we still see it launch in 2024 and do you think that producing the amount of units that nintendo internally wants to hit is actually more of the reason that this console is being delayed outside of the extra time that they might need to get their first party software lineup ready to go or do you think that games being ready is the main contributing factor to this thing being pushed to 2025 and is there some kind of behind the scenes plan to launch it alongside of their big universal attractions with their theme parks and maybe even some kind of new nintendo original content whether that be a short series or a new film so regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today i do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics go watch the video on screen next if you haven't already also make sure you like subscribe turn your notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video